That's quite satisfying, I have to say. And the repeaters have much higher velocity, which means chasing the pip around the screen is a lot easier too. Not to mention you're not dealing with the bad spread of the Gatlings. So no bad spread, higher velocity, don't have to worry about reloading. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty decisive, I would say. Seventeen. Oh, we just did it! We just did it! But, um, I kind of thought that with the ballistics changes, it might be good to revisit this ship and this weapon loadout on it. I've even dressed for the occasion in matching armor, so you know it's going to be something special. So let's just quickly go through a little overview. Uh, in 3.18 they make some changes to the way that ballistic weapons penetrate shields. Basically there's a lot more shield penetration even at full shield power, but a lot of ships have between 50% to 58%, I believe, resistance to ballistic weapons on their hull now. So, we're going to use an all-ballistic loadout on the Talon with its dual-size 4s and AD-4B Gatlings for around 2700 DPS. When we played around with it before, Basically the conclusion was it does kill things fast, but the ammo runs out quite quickly. We only get about a minute at maximum fire rate with these weapons. So we'll see if it becomes any more deadly with the changes to ballistics. One other thing is a lot of ships have storage in them now, and the Talon gained some of that storage. So now you can access external storage with the Talon, so that's very nice. I'm just going to try to grab a couple of bounties here, and we'll test out these weapons. Yeah, I haven't been playing much myself because I've been kind of waiting for 318 to come out to have a lot more to uh, to have a lot more to do. Unfortunately, they have not changed the HUD on the Talon to center the crosshair on your screen. Oh well. It is what it is. Yeah, I really like this ship. I really like ships that are this level of alien sci-fi. It used to be uh, really the meta when it came out, but when they did the weapon rebalance, they kind of gave it the short end of the stick because it need you need as many weapons as possible now for the most part size fours don't have the range that they used to have and they don't have um, some other advantages that they used to have the difference between size threes and size fours is not that much however these gatlings are kind of an exception to the rule they do a massive amount of damage by comparison uh, the only downside is you just have very limited ammo. Um, and they're also 700 meters per second, so they're a bit slower than, say, a repeater. We'll also accept call to arms to get any bonus monies. But generally, with a loadout with limited ammo like this, it's not efficient to do anything other than just go after the bounty target itself and kill it, unless you need to get more spacing. 
We also don't need to have power to weapons because we're not having any energy weapons, so I won't bother powering them. And we'll see how this does. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty decisive, I would say. So I won't bother shooting the other guy because that's mostly a waste of time and ammo. And we will move on. give you a lot less lenience for trespassing. Maybe this is where this build will excel. because we have to get in, hit as hard as we can, and get out. I think I did some damage to his engines. Take care of this other guy. That's quite satisfying, I have to say. seem to get him to want to break away from there. I know it's just PTU, but I don't want to spend any more time with the crime stat on PTU than I have to if I'm trying to test things. Optimal range for these Gatlings based on their spread is probably around 700 meters. Here we go. Let's get out of here before the turrets shred through with this thing. Alright, so biggest problem here is definitely going to be running out of ammo. Now, I know we had to engage that other target there to get a clean run, but if you look, we're only 533. We're less than half. We can also try this uh, combat assistance.
Just having to get used to flying this thing again because I haven't flown it in quite a while. There it is. And 42 rounds remaining. Fortunately, uh, we can, we should be able to just head down to Magda here. Reload. Yep, we can reload. So that's excellent. The biggest part about this build is you're trading a lot of your, or you used to trade a lot of your killing power in terms of time on reloading. Oh boy, I just started to get pulled over by Hurston security while entering Quantum, so they're probably going to charge me now. Maybe not. Maybe we'll get lucky and they won't. Alright, what do we got here? We got a stalker, another stalker, and a buccaneer. took about 40% of the ammo, so not bad, considering that was basically 20k. So we could probably do two of those easily, so you'd have to reload every 40k. So let's try this one, which is about 17k. Thank you. 
M50, Cutlass Black, another M50. All right, so I'm just gonna gun for the Cutlass first to try not to waste ammo on the M50s. Still got two five one rounds remaining. We're gonna have to reload anyway, so I wouldn't be hesitant to use missiles to finish these guys off if we have to. Four zero rounds left. Seventeen. Oh, we just did it. We just did it. Look at that, zero left. All right, so you could do about two of those, so say about 40-ish K. It's not bad for a reload. We can reload basically anywhere now too, so don't have to go back to a major spaceport or anything like that. I don't think you're saving... I think any time that you're saving and killing things, you're definitely losing in... having to take that time to go and reload, though. fly in a little bit towards it. Gladius, Delta, Eclipse, two Eclipse. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here for a uh, low tier bounty. Let's just uh, try to blast the bounty target and get the hell out before we get nuked by torpedoes. There it is. Kind of gotten a feel for the Gatlings at this point. I think we need to get a little feel for some laser repeaters just to see what the difference is. If there's any kind of difference. So let's head to Lorville. We'll pick up a pair of Attrition 4s and we'll equip them and we'll do a couple of missions with that and we'll just see how it compares to the Gatlings.
Alright, so we got the attritions on there. Just one note about the attritions. Nothing stat-wise or anything like that, but... Um, I just really like the way the attritions work, uh, look rather on this ship because of this color matching that banding there. It just it just lines up very very nice. Plus they look like bird feet. So yeah. Anyway, but we're not about looks right at the moment. We're about what is the actual difference here? Because with the ballistics, we were blowing things up with their shields still intact, I think, in some cases. We will see... Let's do a couple of runs here with the repeaters. And uh, just to see if the Gatlings are at all worth the pain of having to reload. The power management triangle on the repeaters. We didn't have to worry about powering weapons when we had the Gatlings, but we will when we have the laser repeaters on. So maybe that makes the Gatlings worth it. I am not sure. We'll find out. What do we got? Oh. Looks like our HUD got reset. Alright. Mustang Delta. Eclipse. And a Hornet. Get rid of that Quantum HUD. Peters are going to land more hits at range compared to the Gatlings, too. You have to get fairly close to optimize the Gatlings. Based on that, that did not feel like the Gatlings were any faster than just equipping a pair of repeaters. Let's just try not a service beacon, but a bounty, just for comparison. Because we did one of those before, too. I did it will change what we're currently thinking, but the more data we can get, the better. It's not really data because we're still being fairly subjective, but still. I'm not sitting here with a timer timing how long each one of these takes. But knowing that we have to reload every two or three encounters. And that's going to take a couple minutes. It's already looking like the repeaters would still give you an advantage. I think the big difference with the repeaters is as soon as you take out their shields, the repeaters aren't dealing half damage to those ships, whereas the ballistic Gatlings are dealing half damage because of the ship armor. So even though you're dealing some damage to the hull right away, as soon as the 
laser repeaters overcome the shields, they're catching up quite quickly. Freelancer miss. And the repeaters have much higher velocity, which means chasing the pip around the screen is a lot easier too. Not to mention you're not dealing with the bad spread of the Gatlings. So no bad spread, higher velocity, don't have to worry about reloading. Yeah, it's hard to justify those Gatlings. Again, it's saving you on the power triangle, but do you really need a lot of savings on the power triangle? I can actually see the body of the guy that was in that ship. There, he landed right on that rock. Uh, he disappeared though. It's a lot of DPS on paper, but it's also harder to apply, and it's got the reload penalty. So, still kind of hard to justify in my mind. All right. So, I would say the overall conclusion then is, even with the new changes to ballistics, based on what we saw, it's still probably not worth it to try to run that loadout, just do any kind of time savings. There's other reasons you could try running it, you know, to practice trigger discipline, to practice with weapons that have lower velocity. Um, to do stuff like that. It's a bit a bit more fun if you don't care about Alpha UEC per hour or anything like that. It breaks things up by going to land, but if you're just trying to blow through missions and stuff as fast as possible, I would just stick with I would just stick with energy weapons 